Good morning, Seawolves. Welcome to the 2023 Scholars Academy Student Government Presidential Debate. I'm your host, Alana Marcial, a senior here at the Scholars Academy. Our presidential elections provide students with the opportunity to vote for the candidate they believe would best represent scholars while also providing a platform for students to express their issues and interests. Today's debate is an excellent opportunity to learn more about our candidates, Surya Mohan and junior Salim Dana. Greetings, Seawolves. My name is Surya and I am a senior. I'm running for student government president for this school year. For the past three years, I have been a grade representative and secretary of events in student government, in which I informed, collaborated, and represented my peers in school affairs. Additionally, I hold various leadership positions, such as being a member of the school leadership team, editor-in-chief of the school newsletter, officer in Model UN, and president of the Computer Science Club. Through these experiences, I have gained a valuable understanding of our school community, which I would use towards diligently recognizing and addressing all concerns from my fellow peers in order to rightfully carry out the role of president. Good morning. For those who do not know me, I am Celine, a junior here at the Scholars Academy, and I'm running for student government president. I have been an active member of student government since eighth grade as grade representative. I'm a member of Model UN. I'm a part of the GLOW Mentor Program. I enjoy being a part of many student-led events, such as, recent, such as the recent Hispanic Heritage Month Assembly and the Spirit Week event. My participation in these activities gives me a unique perspective and understanding of the student body and their needs, which I plan to utilize as president. How will you enhance and embody charge within our school community? Please ch be sure to choose up to three letters that best describe you from the acronym in your response. Charge serves as the foundation for each and every scholar. As president, I am to demonstrate charge throughout my work and actions. Being cooperative is an important characteristic of mine. In the past, I have worked with and helped my peers to develop proposals and lead events. I am to collaborate with my peers by exchanging ideas in order to encourage change, as it is not something that happens with just one person, but with a group of people. As the saying goes, teamwork makes the dream work, which is something I firmly believe in. I will work with other students to acknowledge and address their concerns for the betterment of the school community. Additionally, I make sure to dedicate hard work to any task that I complete, whether it be outside or in school. Within my role as president, I will continue to complete all of my duties to the best of my ability in order to ensure the greatest outcome. Furthermore, as a leader, it is important to be honest and open with my peers to promote a school community where we can all trust one another. Lastly, as Scholars is a highly diverse school, it is important to consider the different backgrounds of each and every student. Therefore, I strive to work towards making our school community more equitable to all students, so they all have the ability to excel and grow. CHARGE is the acronym used by teachers and administrators to describe students who are true scholars, who embody the values of our school. Students utilize CHARGE as a model in order to display exemplary behavior. I find myself exhibiting CHARGE behavior on a day-to-day -day basis, and I plan to continue doing so throughout my presidency if elected. However, there are certain characteristics within this acronym that I feel I represent the best. The H in charge stands for hard work and honesty. My vigorous schedule consisting of four AP classes requires hard work all day, every day. The countless hours I spend servicing our school community is no easy task, and hard work is needed to accomplish our goals. Honesty is one of my best traits as I am not afraid to admit when I am struggling or am in need of assistance. The A in charge stands for amiability. My friendliness has been extremely beneficial throughout my school career, giving me the ability to connect with people of different races, beliefs, and backgrounds. Finally, the G in charge stands for grit and growth mindset. I'm always looking for ways to improve myself and my school community. When faced with an ACL injury, I was able to display resilience and persevere through my setback in order to walk again. I plan to enhance the use of charge within our school community as president, whether it means encouraging more kind acts or having a meeting with student representatives to ensure equity of voice within the student body. Additionally, I would like to strengthen the bond and increase cooperation between our students and faculty as this aligns is what allows our school to run smoothly. Why are you running for president? What does this position mean to you? 
How will you influence and inspire your peers within our school community? Just as student government aims to better the school community and experience for students, I wish to advocate on behalf of my peers as president in order to spark beneficial change, from fostering a stronger school spirit to improving student life. To me, being president means to accurately represent the opinion of the student body. Being president means being someone who takes the various unique ideas of their peers into great consideration. As president, I plan to influence and inspire my peers to be comfortable with sharing their voices. Issues can only be resolved when we come together to share our individual experiences and beliefs. I also wish to inspire my peers by embodying charge within my work in order to encourage them to do the same through their actions. Ultimately, as president, I hope to create a more inclusive school community where everyone's voices are heard and where all students feel accepted. To me, being president goes way more than just writing student government president on my college resume. To me, the presidency is about having the tools and resources to bring about the change you want to see in your school community. To me, being president is about listening to the voice of the student body, prioritizing their concerns, and finding solutions to ensure a prosperous school environment. I am running for president to be the change I want to see in our school. I have been a member of the student government for so many years already, and I am ready and willing to take on the full responsibilities of being president. I am aware of how much work and dedication it takes to be in that position, and I am willing to dedicate myself, my time, and my ideas to further improve our school. I understand that the student government president works closely with faculty and administrators to improve school policies, and I am ecstatic about being provided with that opportunity, if elected. I plan to encourage school leadership, and I will try my best to incorporate student ideas wherever possible. Year after year, I base my student government campaigns on the phrase, Treat People With Kindness, which is popularized by well-known pop star Harry Styles. I strongly believe that being kind is not a hard thing to do, and it is worth all the effort given that you never truly know what someone is going through. Given recent events, I believe that I could bring about the empathy that the school community so desperately needs to unify the student body and to ensure that every student feels safe and comfortable at school. Before we continue, we will take a commercial break to hear a message from some of our candidate supporters. Hello, my name is Anthony and I am a senior who can advocate for Surya's embodiment of the qualities necessary in order to be nominated as student government president. As both Surya's close friend and someone who has taken a variety of classes with Surya over the last four years, I am inclined to believe I have a reasonable opinion on Surya's character. If I had to describe him in a few words, I would say he is disciplined, intuitive, compassionate, and an overall positive influence on the people around him. In my eyes, these traits, along with his years of leadership experience within our school community, work in conjunction in order to make Syria an ideal candidate for student government president. Without a doubt, I am choosing to place both my faith and vote on Syria, and I hope I have convinced all of you to do the same. Siwo, I would love to tell you how remarkable of an individual Shaleen is, whom I believe is the perfect candidate for our next student government president. When you're casting your vote in the upcoming election, I urge you to vote for Shaleen, and here are just a few reasons why. Shaleen is the embodiment of a true leader. She consistently shows dedication, is always approachable, and has a genuine commitment to make Stars Academy a better place. Her passion for our student body is unwavering. She has committed her last four years as grade representative. It is this very passion that drives Shaleen to excel in the role of president. One of her most outstanding qualities is her ability to listen. Shaleen always attentively listens and has care about the concerns and opinions of others. As your student government president, Shaleen will truly engage with all the members of the Seawolf community and ensure that every voice is heard. In a school with many students with many different regards, her listening skills are not just admirable but essential. To add on, Shaleen is a natural problem solver. I have always seen her thrive when faced with challenges, as she is exceptionally skilled at adapting to circumstances. From traumatizing group projects I have done with Shaleen to watching her recover from her torn ACL, she has always been able to push through issues and adapt. This ability will prove invaluable when addressing issues and opportunities student government encounters. Of course, this is only a fraction of the many amazing qualities Shaleen holds. I could talk about her forever, but I'm on a time limit. When you are picking your vote, I urge you to vote for Celine as the 2023 to 2024 student government president. She will not disappoint. She never has. By doing so, you are not just supporting Celine as an individual, but investing in a better school year. Thank you. 
Presidents have to recognize areas of success and areas for growth within a country and create actionable plans in order to overcome challenges. In your opinion, where are we thriving? Where can we grow? Describe your action plan for overcoming challenges you recognize within our school community and celebrate some of our successes. Throughout the history of scholars, the school has consistently excelled in academics. The school has a 100% graduation rate and over 90% of students earn honorable status. One of the most notable areas of success would be the vast number of and variety of student-led clubs, such as Model UN, French Club, Soccer Club, Video Game Club, Multicultural Club, Mental Health Club, and many more. Through clubs, students have been able to explore their interests and further bond with others. In addition, scholars sufficiently prepares their students for college and their future careers by providing college fairs, college tours, internship opportunities, financial aid night, and many more resources. However, I believe that we can still improve our college and career readiness. Throughout the past year, I have witnessed the struggles that my peers have faced during the college application process. I believe that we can solve this issue through the creation of a mentorship program, which focuses on seniors providing guidance to their underclassmen based on personal experience. Additionally, another area of growth would be the number of in-person school-wide events at Scholars. A main goal of mine is to promote the development of new school-wide events. With Scholars being so diverse, I aim to promote the creation of events centered around culture in order to foster intercultural understanding and reinforce a sense of community. Many students have no ideas for events, but struggle with turning their thoughts into reality. Therefore, I would make the proposal process clear to all students by providing any needed assistance or clarification. Lastly, I would like to focus on the creation of new trips for every grade by developing a committee centered around unique, entertaining, and informative trips for students. Scholars has made notable progress in certain areas. However, certain aspects need to be addressed and improved. Firstly, I'd like to start by acknowledging some of the accomplishments. One of our most recent successes being the hydroponic farm installed in our school that is set to produce 9,000 pounds of fresh crops. Additionally, the PSAL open access program that we participate in allows our student athletes to join teams that Scholars does not offer, allowing them to gain the full high school experience. Scholars has always done a great job of promoting academics and ensuring all students maintain high marks. Besides academics, our school also pr promotes community involvement through several events, such as the food drive, toy drive, and board walkathon. Despite these successes, there is still room for improvement. I would like to see more enjoyment here at Scholars. Everyone gets extremely caught up with their responsibilities and they never truly stop to smell the roses. This time is extremely important as we will never get these years of our lives back. And with that being said, I would like to plan more trips and events for the students. Furthermore, I feel as though a few assemblies a year do not suffice our diverse population of students and that there needs to be more time dedicated to student performances. I am willing to do whatever it takes to make that happen, whether it is take, talking to staff and administrators or signing a petition. I would like to thank the host and the audience for being here today. As president, I promise to create change that accurately represents the interests of the student body. I would make sure to follow through with all the aforementioned plans, and please do not hesitate to voice your ideas or opinions too. For a memorable school year filled with joy and positive reform, vote for Surya. Make sure to vote, and don't forget, vote for Surya, it won't hurt you. Thank you. Thank you all for listening today. I hope the answers I provided give you a better idea of what I am about and what the presidency means to me. It is essential that student voices are heard and are emphasized throughout the scholars community. I know I am the best fit to be the voice of the student body, to advocate for their needs, and to keep their best interests in mind. My ability to empathize, my receptiveness of new ideas, and my leadership skills allow me to connect with varying groups of students and will provide me with the skills I need to be a great president. Don't be mean and vote for Celine. Thank you. With that being said, I would like to thank both of the candidates for coming out and answering all of our questions. And I hope that our students watching got to learn about what these scholars stand for in order to determine our 2023 Scholars Academy president.
We will be voting as a high school via Google Forms and make sure that your vote counts.